So you've written a paper. I am so pleased that you've written this paper. I would like to give you credit for it. I have a problem. Your name is not on it. And do not handwrite that name on there. Do not put the, hand, the name in the body of the paper. There's a special tool that Word has called the header. You want to put that on there and it will put your heading on every page in your paper. The way you do that, I've already got it open, but if I didn't have it open, you would go to View, click the View, and then go down to Header Footer. I'm not going to click that since it's already up. Once you have it up, it has the dotted line around it, and all of this is gray. You can't type into any of that when the header footer is open. You can only type into the header footer. You're going to use the proper heading, which would be last name, comma first name, that's important to get it in the right in the right order. Then you're going to put the date. Then you're going to want to put the period. The way I would like for you to identify the period is L A eight. That stands for Language Arts eighth grade with a dash and your period number. So if you're in period three, you would put dash three. The last thing you want to do is I need you to tell me what how many pages are in your paper. Well, you can't just put the page number. You want to auto page number. So what you do is you go to insert auto text and you go all the way down to page X of Y. The reason for that is it will tell me how many pages I should expect to see from you. If you turn in a paper that says it has five pages and I only have four, then I know that there's a problem. We've lost a page somewhere along the way. And I will go back to you and ask for that page. So it kind of help, helps me. Also, it will change, that number will change if you edit your paper and it gets longer or shorter. Instead of saying three, it could say two, or it could say five, depending on how you've, you've edited your paper. Now that we have our header all set up and we're happy with it, we're going to send it over to the other side because we want to write align it. So you're going to select all of that using your mouse, or you can do control A and it would only select this, everything in the header. You're going to go over to these little, these little buttons here, and you're going to choose this one because that sticks it over on that side. Also, you can make the font at least 14. I don't want to read my, use my reading glasses when I read your paper, so I need a little bit bigger. And then you can choose your font. Now, you must choose a font that's easy to read. So you have a few to choose from. You could choose Arial, which is a nice font. You can choose Century Gothic, which is another nice font. Or you can stick with Times New Roman, which is that font. It's a little bit smaller, but it's still an easy to read font. Do not give me anything weird. Do not give anything strange. These, um, let me go back and if you go over here and you do, for example, this one's called Melanie. Do that one. It's too curly cue. It's hard to read. You want your paper to be easy to read. You do all of that and you've got your header footer set. So let's go back and put it on a regular font that we like. I like Arial. When you're done with that, you simply click close. And it now is there in gray. You cannot edit it if it's in gray. You would have to go back to the view right there and then click header footer again to be able to view that. I believe that's all you need to know about your header footer except that put it on every paper that you turn into me. Thanks. Have a great day.